Welcome back to my channel. In this tutorial, you learn how to transform this raw data into a dynamic Excel income statement that tracks actual versus budget figures using pivot tables and slices. Download the file in the description below and follow along to build your own dashboard. Let's get it started. This is the data that you are going to work with. We have country. We have financial year, we have accounting group, we have account, we have actual and budget. So the next thing we're going to convert this to a table, press control T. Then press my table has headers, then press OK, then design it. OK, so let's add another tab. This we are going to do the, the dashboard. Let's rename it dashboard. dashboard so let's go back and insert a pivot table go to insert then pick a pivot table then to existing worksheet then go back to our dashboard and then let's put it here then press ok so pick the account group drop to the rows pick account drop drop to the rows again then pick the actual to the values, then budget to the values. So this is our pivot table. So we, wa we have to rearrange this one. We bring, click on the revenue. Then let's bring it up here. So we've already arranged our, our income statement. Okay, serving so revenue. Cost of goods sold, then expenses. So we're going to add the gross profit and net profit. Go to pivot table analyzer, big field items. Let's rename this to gross profit, gross profit. Then on the formula, gross profit is revenue minus cost of sales. Click revenue. It's cost of goods sold. Then press add. So let's let's add the net profit. So let arrange let's let's rename this put net profit. Okay, net profit is gross profit minus expenses. So let's click the account group, then equal to gross profits minus expenses, then press add, then press OK. So we have it all here. So the next thing we are going to do, we are going to collapse all these items, then press the negative icon let's go to the gross profit shoe click it so it's nicely done the next thing is to move the gross profit here so click it then drag it just before the expenses so this is the layout for income statement so we're going to remove the grant total click it remove grant total okay so let's remove that go to design let's put the subtotals down click that so it's down here so the next thing is to add the uh, is to add blank go to design then insert then insert blank line. It's nicely done. Okay. So let's remove this one. Click it. Go to pivot analyzer. Click that one. Okay. So 
So let's remove the buttons. Go and click remove the buttons. The next thing is to rename rename these ones. So let's delete thumb off. Then delete. Ensure you you put a space before the actual, or else it will not work. Delete these ones too. Make sure I leave a space before budget. Okay. Okay, so it's coming out nicely. The next thing is to style, style the pivot table. Go to design. Then let's click. Let's go with light. Okay, it's, let's do another one. Okay, let's duplicate this. We create our own. So click that one and clear, clear, clear everything. That one clear. All the ones that are in bold, clear all of them. Click in clear. Let's clear all this. Click clear. Clear, click and clear, and then let's rename this to custom. Then press OK. See, this is what we are going to use. Okay, let's click. Let's look for it, the custom. Okay, it's nicely done. Okay, let's style this. Let's click. This one's bold. Click expenses. Click net profit. Control B to make them bold. So let's add a line. And another line below line. So let's let's style this one. Let's have double lines, one on top and one below. Let's use that one. Okay. Okay. Let's format it. Let's resize it a bit. Okay. The next thing is to add calculated columns. So we're going to do the variance to pivot analyzer. Then calculate field, calculated field. Then let's rename it to variance. Variance. Then the formula, variance normally actual, minus budget, add, let's do another one, we are going to do variance in percentage, so variance in percentage, variance in percentage, the formula we are going to do Actual divide by budget minus one, then press add and press OK. So then it's nicely done. So okay, let's format this. Sorry, let's redo it again. Then make it bold. Then let's rename this one just the way we did the other one before. Let's delete that. Ensure you have a space before the variance. Let's delete that one too. The next thing we are going to do is to let's format this one first. Let's change it to percentage. Press OK. OK, everything is looking nice. Let's 
format that. The next thing you're going to do is to do a conditional formatting on percentage variance, this column. So I'm going to start with the revenue. So I like the revenue. I like gross profit. Then net profit, then go to conditional formatting. Then icon sets, then let's go with that one. Okay. Let's do the ones for cost of sales and expenses. Highlight cost of sales. Then highlight expenses. Highlight expenses. Then go to conditional formatting. Icon sets. Then click the icons. Okay, but you've realized that these ones are negative, so we have to reverse the conditional formatting. Go to conditional formatting. Edit rule. Then click reverse order. Then change this to number. Number. Then press OK. Then let's change this one to edit. That one is not going to reverse since they are, they are revenue. Then just change that to number. Then number, then press OK. Press OK again. So it's nicely done. It's nicely done. OK. Let's format this. Let's add a the line. Okay, so it's coming out nicely. So the next thing we're going to do is to insert slices. So click it, go to insert, then pick a slicer, pick country, and year and country. So they are here. So let's pick a style. Let's go with the green. Okay. So we are going to put it here. Okay. Let's resize this one. Let's bring it down. Okay. Let's bring our country slicer and resize it up to there. So we are going to do designing and formatting of of this dashboard, highlight and let's pick a color, let's go with green. Okay. Let's highlight that one, go with green, then this one too, the net profit. Let's go with that green. Okay. The next thing we are going to do is to do the header. So let's insert some space. Let's create enough space. So go to insert, pick a shape. Let's go with the rounded rectangle. And let's bridge here. Then let's give it a color. Let's go with, let's, let's maintain the green for the fill. Then no fill for the outline. Okay. So let's insert a text box. Text box. Then let's draw it here. Up to there. Then actual. Versus. I'm going to put actual versus budget. So let's remove the background color. No fill. Outline. So let's format it. Let's increase the font. Let's enter it first. Make it bold. 
Küste der Front. Okay, I think that's perfect. So it's coming out nicely. Okay, so we've already removed the grid lines. So everything is perfect. Let's extend this one down. So this is how you can create your income statement, actual versus budget using a pivot table. So let's try it out, see if it's interactive. Okay, it's really working. Okay, you can try it on your own. Okay. Let's reformat that. Okay. So this is the dashboard. So let's go back to a journal. Let's see if it's dynamic. Let's copy this, the part of this table. Let's copy this up to, up to there. Let's copy it down and change, and change the details to see if it's going to pick automatically. Okay. Add it, then let's change the dates to 2025. Okay, let's also add the country. Let's put UK, drag it up to down. So let's come back here, then left click, then refresh. Wow, it's already there, UK, it has already updated. So this thing is, is dynamic. So everything is intact. You can go and try it out. Okay. Thank you for watching. Remember to subscribe, comment, like, share, and follow. Goodbye.